Ready? Go. Set. So I get asked how to get things done. And to be honest, the answer lies in the question. What are you doing to get things done? If you start your process with overthinking or overanalyzing the situation before it even gets started, you're never going to start. Life is so unpredictable that every time that you, it's just like a Pandora's box. Once you open it, you can't close it. It's always going to give you more and more problems and more things that you can't solve and things that could go wrong. And the reality is that until you start doing it, you won't really know what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. That's the first thing. Once you get that mindset of ready, go, and then set, that's when you can start to actually get things done. There are three things that you need once you have this mindset, of course, which are the why, why are you doing it, then the how, the processes or things that you use to innovate, and then the what. So what's the why? The why is like a mantra, something that you repeat over and over whenever you feel that everything is not working out, not for anyone else, but for yourself. To get yourself in a state where you feel that what you're doing is worth it and that it's worth spending more time on it, more energy on it, and more importantly, to not give up. For example, this video. Do you know how many times I've been doing this video today? I spent like three hours recording this video. But see, my why, in this case, which is to convey an idea, makes me want to continue doing it instead of just giving up. In my case, the how would be the editing process and how do I get this video to be more attractive to the viewers and so on. But if I overthink about this phase, I would never get the video out. And the only way that the how can exist is through the what, which means recording the video over and over again. And how do I continue this cycle? I focus on the do or the what part. And whenever I feel like I don't want to do this anymore, I go to the why, which is I have to make a video. So then I get back on the what phase. And once I'm done with the what, once I've created a product, something that is useful, that's when I get to the how. So what's the takeaway of this video? The first thing is to get in your mind that everything is about the doing part. Yes, you must innovate. Yes, you must have a, a strong why. But if you're not doing it, you will never get forward. Even if you don't feel motivated, even if you don't feel like you're good at it, even if you know that you're bad at it, you must do it. Because through the process of doing, you get closer to it. And once you start doing, that's when the other two pillars start to make more sense. Because you'll feel more engaged with the commitment that you're making. But if you're not doing it, then you fall either on over fantasizing about your principles or just overthinking about how that process is going to be done. So, why is important, how is important, but what matters is the what. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, you can follow me on this YouTube channel and on my Instagram, at Holy Daniel Abraham. Thank you very much. See you guys in the next video.